Right, can we talk? Uh, you know what? Maybe tomorrow. Right, tomorrow. How about, yeah. how about today? Okay, yeah. How did I know that you were going to say Listen, that? I cannot pretend to understand all the things you do. Uh, but, you know, I'm... You got a soft spot for you. I'm rooting for you. And uh, there's a lot of good in you. It just hasn't found its way out. You know, it hasn't learned yet. But, and, and, and uh, you know, you and, you and Coop, you know, if it, if it worked out differently, if you timed it differently, maybe later on, maybe it would have worked out. Why are you being nice to me? As I've known you since you were a little girl. I watched you grow up, watched you fight leukemia. You're a strong, strong lady. That's the second time I've heard that tonight. Well, maybe it's because you are. Look, you know, I mean, some people remember you because of your bad behavior. But you know how I remember you? I remember a girl that, uh, that gave my restaurant back. A girl that fought her whole family to fit in with mine. I mean, you made a mistake. So you made mistakes. So I don't think you should be alone tonight. That is so sweet, Buzz. But you know something? I'm not alone. I have Roxy. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, no, well, I'd like to tell you what. I dropped you off at millions of your mom. No, it, it really, you're, you're so sweet. It's really okay. You know, Thank you, you so much. Back, no. I, I got no. some frosting on my pants. Uh, no, uh, if you have frosting on your pants, that is your own fault. No, actually, it's yours. <laughs> so why did you just come here to tell me that I, I ruined Coop's whole huh? birthday party? Well, no, I Yeah, I, okay, I, all right. Where I, are I, they? I Where are the rest of the Lizzie lynchers? Come on, Cooper. Come out. Come on out. You get, get out before I stick Roxy on you. Yeah, get out. I, you know, you should talk to someone. Okay, out! <sighs> what is going on? What are you... Hi. Let's no, go. no, I don't want to see anyone. Look, we're not, all right? We're going to be alone. <sighs> okay. I'm not trying to hurt you. I just needed to bring you someplace where you would listen. You brought me here? To talk. All we're doing is talking. When my dad tried to kidnap me, you saved me. And when he was killed and I was grieving, you stood beside me. When I found out that it was my granddad that did it, you helped me through it. You have been the only good thing in my entire life. And now you are going to dump me here? Outside my dad's too? Lizzie, I am not dumping you, okay? I'm trying to get through to you. I, I'm just worried about you. Right. Do you remember when your dad was falling apart? You were so hurt because you wanted to help him and he wouldn't let you. Oh, okay. So I need help now, right? Psycho Lizzie. I'm just oh, psycho. You stop. No, just it's in stop my it. jeans, isn't it? It was it's just a matter of time before I go off. You don't have to go off, though, Lizzie. No. No, I, I could I could see some more some more therapists. I could maybe go to another camp for freaks. I thought you were different. I thought you believed in me. I do. I do believe in you, Lizzie, but, but you need to step back and you need to take a look at yourself. Okay, what you did tonight. Ava could have seriously been hurt. Oh, Ava, Ava, Ava! Ava is the only thing that you care oh, about! Damn it, Lizzie, that is not true! All right? You scared me tonight. All right, you know what? And I think you scared yourself. Lizzie, you rigged that elevator. You pushed Ava into it. It's like you took somebody and you made them a hostage. That's something you can go to jail for. That's something that your dad would No, it wasn't like that. You were hurt because your father did what he wanted to do without any regard for how it hurt anybody else. And you know what? That's exactly how you acted tonight. All right, and you're better than that, Lizzie. You made me better than that. And without you, I will become just like the rest of my family. No, no. It is a choice. But you can make the right one. <gasps> Lizzie, you have overcome so much. I mean, you can get over us. What if I can't? What if everything is ruined forever? No. No. Guilt will not work here, all right? I've seen you play that card a hundred different times, all right? Look who you're talking to. It's me, Lizzie. It's Coop. 
So why do you think... Why do you think you don't love me anymore? Like, love me, love me. <sighs> Look, I, I wanted to. I really... I really wanted it to work. Look, did you ever think that maybe we were meant to meet each other right now because maybe I was meant to be the guy that would help you come out from underneath this power, this control that your family had over you? Oh, great. So what, I was a project and now your work here is Lizzie. done? Look, look at me. Someday in the not-so-distant future, you are going to meet a man who's going to love you no. the way you deserve to be loved, the way Lizzie wants to be loved. And then you know what? You're going to forget all about me. No, no, I won't. I can't. Lizzie, I'm not him. I'm not that guy. 